Hello pioneers and welcome back to Satisfactory. Last time we managed to move our base to the new location, which is the old location. <laughs> uh, we uh, made all the basic uh, resources in order to get us up to speed. And now the move is to bring the oil up and make that as well. First we gotta extend the uh, platforms for the foundations all the way there so we can have somewhere to actually build the refineries and uh, what we need for them. So uh, let's get on with it. The platforms are done and it is now time to start building. So before we actually get some of the uh, oil here, I uh, wanted to uh, build the refineries so uh, we're gonna build it here I left some space here because I want to eventually build the uh, manufacturing lines around sort of this row and maybe some uh, assemblers as well and I did some calculations based on uh, what we previously had and uh, we need the space yeah so starting from over here we're gonna have the refineries now these are gonna get a bit more complex because we now have two inputs and outputs and uh, these might be a bit nastier so in order to take that into account let's get on with this so refinery yeah uh, now inputs and outputs we want to make them stackable again just like previous stuff so in order to make sure that we are covering the right stuff where is the clearance like that I don't know which one is it like that. I think it was this right no 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 come on god damn it I think that I think that if we do that, let's see if we got enough clearance for this. So we got one and a two, yeah. So let's say we got uh, this from this guy. It's a seven. Okay. Probably not gonna need that, but it's good to have it. Uh, so we're gonna use. In here, the stackable pipeline. That. Yeah, so let's see if it does actually work. And we got the pipe and put a junction across. We have to short these and. Perfect, and we can have these, and they look nice, and they don't overlap or anything like that. On this side, and over here, we can do the same here. So over here, we're gonna have the inputs. So the inputs are gonna be like that. Stackable stuff for the pipeline here. Let's say we put it here. Alright, do the same thing. Over here we're gonna have to split the actual stuff. It doesn't look perfectly straight, but that will do for now. Plastic and rubber, the input is 30 per minute, yeah? 
These pipes currently handle 300, which means we can do 10 of these. So, I say we do 5 on each side, yeah? Got one. The pipeline comes from over there. Is it enough or is it too big? Okay, so uh, I think it might be too long though, so we'll see. Uh, so we put that, we connect the rest, we bring in the pipeline. Refinery is complete. So, uh, we've got the pipes here and we've hooked them up. Got a nice little interesting shape so we can only use one junction. Yeah. And on this side, we've got pipes on top and uh, belts on the bottom. So plastic's, blah, blah, blah. plastic's gonna come in and then all the heavy oil residue is gonna come out of here, right? So they come in here, all the way to here, I to put the walls, one wall here, two wall here, okay, and this is gonna go into a storage, and the new addition will be a fluid buffer now uh, I'm not totally sure how I'm gonna do these I might like do them one after the other or something like that uh, what I might do is I might put the buffer because we have it like that so I might put the buffer here and then the storage after that right so so buffer there and the storage guy over here right after it and then we put the splitter Uh, 
here. Logistics. So we can get the plastic here. And the uh I'll probably do something nicer with this, but yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. Um the heavy oil residue into here. Now this has 300 these puppies make 10 per minute so this is gonna fill up real quick because 10 that's 100 yeah so 100 a minute this and 3 minutes is full we're gonna have to take this and send it somewhere where it actually produces stuff most likely I don't know either because I think the recipe for that is fuel from heavy oil residue. We can do fuel. Not sure. I might send it to do some fueling or all that kind of stuff in here. I don't know. First of all, we need to hook this up to an actual oil pipeline. Yeah. So before we do that, we need to go down and put the stuff in there for the. Uh, <clears throat> Where is it? For the oil extractors. Yeah. So, let's get a quick. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have, have to find a way to get down there. But at least we got this done. So, now that we've gotten rid of the bad influences in the area. Let's build some extractors, so we're going to have to bring the oil all the way there, so let's build one here. This is 120 per minute, so I guess this is what? Normal oil, yes. This one is a... I think there was another one over here. Yep. This one is gonna also impure. So we got a hundred and two hundred and forty. Yeah, however. I need 300. It's 240. I want to maximize that line. Yeah. So we're gonna put because we have it and we guns to use it. We're gonna put a nice little over drive in here. Get to 180 plus 120. We're gonna give it a 300. So we're gonna fill the pipeline. Uh, I could have left it at 240 but we're just wasting capacity for each pipeline so uh, it's not worth it right okay the big problemo is the fact that most likely once I turn these things on I'm not gonna have enough power <laughs> these babies suck like crazy so I need to hook these up and find a way to bring the pipeline up there And they're done but uh, like I've mentioned I tried to turn this puppy on and it got absolutely wrecked because I didn't have enough power so uh, I had to uh, add another line of power to the coal let's go through uh, all the shebang for that anyway we should now have enough juice to get these things going okay so let's get some oil okay. let's get these things flowing so this thing can do 60 yeah everything that it does goes through the pipeline and it's going to try to fill this up, yeah. Now this is going to go here. And this will be filling 
up from these two bad boys. Yeah, that's going at 60. This is going at 60. Because it's impure. And since this one is the normal one, I've overclocked this one. This one's going at 180. Yeah. So it should be 300. What's the power looking like? Unfortunately, it's going to stay here because it doesn't have enough head. So, what we need to do now is we need to put some pumps to fill these bad boys. Oh, 
have enough oil. Why don't we have enough oil? masks and filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based hazardous environments. Fixit Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly.
crap, that's a lot of materials. And the filters. What do I need? Rubber and coal. I can get those. Can definitely get myself those. Okay. So let's put the mask on. Bam. Nice. And then we'll get the filters, we'll make them and go do that thing. Shoot wait! pipe has been brought and the uh, wire connection has been made and uh, this is pretty much what we have so in order to actually get the oil here most likely we're gonna need some pumping so get over here with the mask on and make this bad boy go Right, so we have four connections. So we got four pumps one over there, one over there, one over there, and one over there. That's a normal, all of these are impure. So in total, it gets up to 300. Now, is it gonna pump? But they are super, super slow. So obviously it's gonna flow to some extent but that's pretty much it yeah okay so that's the pump it gets to somewhere yeah. okay so I will have to actually build the um, pumping stations so that uh, we can get some flow up the pipes okay Right, so I'm back here and it looks like somebody's up for a little bit of adventure. <laughs> I have no idea how this guy managed to get there, but he's uh he's doing it. I'm just gonna get away with <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. Righty then, the rubber facility is complete. We brought all the piping, so instead of going all the way and coming back here, since we're going to do it here, I'm just going to bring it all the way here. We made a nice little hyper tube to get ourselves up here in case we fall. Put all the necessary pumps, the three because the level is quite high. And we fed in everything. All the things are completed. And it is time to power this baby up. Where is it? And we got left off! For robot production! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at the power jump on that thing. <laughs> So, on this side, we have these bad boys, we're filling these up on both sides, and over here, 
we've got fuel production and for that we need residual rubber and we're gonna hook that up and hope that power doesn't die oh my god that is so close but it's gonna die Either that or I'll turn some of these off. We'll see. In any case, we are done with the initial production of oil. So that is good. Very, very good. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for the next one where we're going to actually use oil products to make the next things. Among which unlocking some more th stuff like the manufacturers. Alrighty then. See you in a bit.